Let's hit it. Last year I sang for this. This year I'm not singing, but you guys are going to sing. Ready? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to talk about uh, monitoring cron jobs and Kubernetes. This is something I just barely learned like five days ago, and I was really excited. So if I'm doing this completely wrong, please tell me, but do it nicely, okay? Because I'm a little, a little timid here. So just to do this uh, Ignite, I put together a demo with Minikube rather than using uh, the Oracle Cloud that, that I work on right now. And so I just did a Minikube start, and I uh, evaled the environment stuff, and then I did a Helm init, and then I installed a few things with Helm. So I, in work, I have Prometheus as kind of a separate system, but in for the demo, I just installed it with Helm, and then I installed the Grafana, and I also installed this magical thing called Cube State Metrics, which will add some stuff onto Kubernetes to expose out metrics, which is kind of cool. Uh, but there's some problems with it. Uh, not a lot, but uh, so this just shows how to load up Prometheus if you're doing it inside of Minikube. So uh, I use kubectl to get the pod name, and then I did a port forward on that, and then I loaded it up in the browser. So like really, really simple. Uh, Prometheus also comes with this thing called Alert Manager, and I use this for the demo because I didn't want to have to set up PagerDuty and all the other things, uh, but it's the same idea. It launches a pod, and you can port forward into the pod. And here's how you, this is kind of a boring talk, sorry. Uh, and this is how you load up Grafana. If you haven't seen Grafana, that's Grafana. And there's nothing exciting about this one. Let's get to the next one. The thing about Grafana is you have to log into it. And when you use the Helm install, there's some, some commands that it spits out. And then it tells you how to get the secret that has the password in it. So that shows you how to do it. Um, and it gives you this nice uh, generated password. And now we've got all those bits set up. So Grafana is just like a charting thing, right? But you can set up, you have to set up Grafana to know where the data is coming from. And so when you launched the Prometheus pod, it came out with a URL that said, here's your service URL. So you take that and you go put it into Grafana, and that maps all of your Grafana charts at, with uh, Prometheus as your data source. And then you have to tell Grafana when you want to do an alert, where is your alert manager? So the same thing, when you did a Helm install of, of Prometheus, you got a URL that said, here's where your alert manager is. So now let's create a cron job. You really can't read this, but just know that all it's doing is it's going to do a fail, OK? Because I just wanted to simulate a fail. Failure is going to happen so we can monitor the failure, um, kind of like that telephone pole in the middle of the road, OK? Really smart move. So then we create a cron job. So Kubernetes is kind of cool and dumb, uh, but mostly cool, I think. It, you create a cron job, which then schedules a job, which then launches a pod. So if you really want to know what's going on, you finally have to get to the pod. But I just learned yesterday that there's a way that you can manually like launch the jobs, which is cool. Um, as I said, Cube State Metrics does some magic for you. It exposes a bunch of things, but it creates these vectors of like isolated information. And so if you're used to doing like SQL joins, you come into this land and you're like, oh, how do I even like pull all the data together? And so I found this awesome blog that told me how to do joins basically on the vectors coming out of Prometheus. So this is the query from the blog. And basically, you're trying to find what's the most recent event or most recent job that occurred, and did it fail? And so here we go. We're, we've got three failures. I have the job set up to run, I think, every two minutes, four minutes, five minutes, maybe. Five minutes, it looks like. And so those are three failures back to back. So now that I've got that, I want to set up my alert in Grafana to say, you know, page me when this happens. So I go into my configuration for that, and I say, OK, if there's ever a sum of events over the last five minutes that is greater than zero, then I've got a failure, and I need to alert on that. So that's pretty simple. And then uh, there's another place where you can set up your notification channel, which uh, you could put in PagerDuty or whatever you're using for your, um, your alerting. But in this case, we're using Alert Manager because it came for free with Prometheus. And I just put in a message that says, hey, your cron job failed. Right? Simple. And now you can see there's a red line or an annotation in Grafana that shows, hey, I just alerted you. Uh, so on the next slide, we're going to see uh, that Alert Manager received that. Um, so we actually did this like just a couple days ago, and then I got feedback last night that maybe we didn't wire this up correctly. So I might be speaking crap to you here. I hope I'm not. Uh, but here's Alert Manager. You can see at the bottom of that screen, there's two alerts that pop in for those, uh, those recent failures. And one of the neat, neat things about cron jobs in Kubernetes is you can say store X number of failures or store X number of successful runs. So you can go back and you can look at the logs and the pods of, of what really happened. And so now if we change it to uh, do a bin true instead of a bin false in my container, it will pass and then the alerts go away. So um, hopefully that's helpful to somebody. I thought it was really cool this week. So thanks. <laughs>